Hi guys, I've got a gigantic box to open. This is from Suzanne. I've been waiting for this for well over a week now, so Suzanne's shipping is not the fastest. And I spent a lot of money on this and I've been very, very excited. I am not planning to keep all of it because I've got quite a few things in here. It was a lot of money and I really hope it doesn't all work for me because I don't want to be spending that sort of money. So I'm really hoping to just maybe find a couple of things in here that I love and the rest can go back, but we shall see. I've already just undone the sellotape. Actually, let's just show you inside the box whilst we have the camera this way. And we'll just open it up like this. And there you can see what it looks like in here. There, I don't know, what, oh, that's the scarf. Okay, yeah, I see. Oh, it looks like I got a freebie. I think that's a free small scarf that maybe they're giving away, so that's nice. Anyway, let's turn the camera around. Good morning then. So yeah, this is my morning face. This is my morning hair. <laughs> I just tied a little bit back because I just had the windows cleaned. I wanted to look mildly, mildly presentable. I don't think I do, but you should have seen it before I put the hair out the face. I wake up like Medusa. Who's got curly hair and can... What's the word? Who else has got curly hair and wakes up like Medusa? Ah. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is me, a morning face. I've had one coffee, that is it. And we have this box here then I've just shown you oh, it's too heavy to do all of that so I'm just going to show you what's in here for now and then I'll probably go and do a try on sorry itchy face so yeah it looks like they sent me a freebie here um le foulard pour la vie de and I guess you I guess that's like a gift so you could gift that to someone I'm not it's too small to be a scarf maybe it's a handkerchief shall we have a look Shall we have a look? I definitely didn't order this, so it's a freebie from Suzanne. So thank you to Suzanne for, they do do that, I think, fairly often. And they often have codes so you can get a free tote bag. So it's like um, a very small scarf. I don't think it's a, is it a hanky? Is it a small scarf? I don't know. It's too small to be a scarf. So it's a 100% cotton, it says here. And... It's very cute. I guess it could use it for a hair thing. Um, I don't know. Go a, go a little bit royal. <laughs> what is it they do, the royals? They like to wrap their heads in scarves, don't they? I'm uh, not sure how I will use that, to be honest. But, because just because it's a bit small. I did actually order a scarf. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this out because I only ordered... I really love this pattern, right? So this is the Suzanne collaboration with C New York, and this is their uh, the pattern that's on some of their clothing, and it's my favourite pattern that I've seen from Suzanne so far. But I did get the dress in the same pattern. So the idea is, if I don't, I've already tried the jacket on. I don't know if I tried that on. I don't think I tried that on YouTube, so you wouldn't have seen it. The jacket is a padded jacket, a quilted jacket in this design. So let's let's get the dress out and I'll show you the full design. Um, so in this design, it's a very thick and heavy, and I didn't realise how thick and heavy the quilted jacket was going to be, and it just didn't flatter me at all. It was I had to order it in a larger size because I wanted to have to wear stuff underneath it. And then it was like Michelin Man, but it still was a little bit, not, it wasn't tight, but it didn't have much room in the arms. And I did look a bit like the Michelin Man. I might have some footage somewhere. So if I do, I will show you. Um, it just wasn't flattering for me. I think maybe if you're very, very slim and tall, then basically you can wear anything, can't you? And then you'd look great in that jacket. But on me, as someone who's not skinny, uh, it just didn't 
look great, but I love the pattern. I love the color. Um, so let's show you this dress. Um, it's looking like a lot of material. Right, so the dress is actually all unbuttoned at the moment. Let's show you the pattern then. So here's the pattern. There it is next to my face. <laughs> and then let's come up right close. So I believe this is a cotton and linen mix. Um, yeah, so the, pa the pattern itself is called Emilia with an E, Emilia. And this dress is called Roxanne. And I've ordered it in a 14. So um, it's just going to be very difficult to show you from sitting here. So yeah, um, let's I'll just show you some details. So it has these little... Uh, I guess they're like tortoiseshell buttons. And the sleeves have some detailing. Let's have a look. It looks like someone might have worn this because I've just had to unroll the sleeve down. <laughs> Someone's probably sent this back. I mean, they, that probably happens a lot. There's the sleeve detail. I love that. That's just beautiful. So, yeah, I'll be trying that on. It comes with a uh, matching fabric belt. I will try it on. I was not expecting to love this, but I really do. Let me try and show you so you can see. So the collar, you could obviously button it up more. I don't like anything buttoned up here. You can see it, I do, it highlights my neck, my double chin, etc. So I always keep everything open like that. And I love it. I've rolled the sleeves up. I've just hold, I'm holding them up with a hairband at the top because I feel like down is a bit too frumpy, too covered up. Uh, I love that you can undo some buttons. You can you could go slightly higher, but I'm not uh, I'm not going to do that. I think if I was younger, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, I've styled them with these June. Uh, I think they were called Alicia June. They're like raffia wedges. I'm not sure. The only thing I'm concerned about is where the hell do I wear a dress like this <laughs> from my lifestyle? It's not really down the pub um, to watch a local band type of dress, is it? I think it would be something that I keep for an occasion. Uh, I can't see me just popping it on to go to Asda's for shopping. Um, but I really love it. I, I, I mean, I absolutely love it look at the the colors and i honestly don't think this lighting is brilliant um i've got some sunshine coming in through the window but the mirror itself is blocking quite a lot of that sunshine um yeah i love how flowy it is so if i'm dancing it's got a lovely flow to it let me know what you think. Let's see if I'm behind. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. And there should be two dresses. There should be two dresses in here. I'm starting to wonder if everything's here. Uh, hopefully this is two dresses. Right, okay, so this is, if two dresses are wrapped up together. So let's start off with, there was a short one and there's a long one and they're in the same pattern, which I really love. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna look on me. I generally don't buy sh that short a dress or that short a skirt or shorts. Um, if you saw my recent uh, Zara haul, Zara H&M haul, I actually finally wear a short dress in there for the first time. And um, I think it looks all right, actually. But it's just new to me because I tend to always end up buying that midi length. But actually, I realise the midi length cuts my leg off. Where the skirt stops is at the widest part of my calf. It's not flattering, actually. Um, 
I think for me, I need either ankle length or shorter, but it's getting used to showing a little bit of thigh when my thighs are really just not. You know, well, you know, I'm 45 years old. They've got signs of wear and tear, shall we say? Um, so yeah, this is the uh, this is the Amour dress. As you can see, it's got an open, v, like V-shaped sort of neck, and the colour of this this background isn't really ivory. It's definitely yellow tones. Try and get some light, and it depends on the light. It's more yellow, and, and other people have said this on uh, I think um, Katie, Katie Louise showed this dress off, and she said that the background was quite yellow. And on camera, it doesn't really show up that yellow. And, and I'm getting that exact same thing here. In real life, it's like a palish yellow, creamy palish yellow, buttercream. But on camera, I can see it's not really picking up. Um, so let's see, buttons are fabric covered. And let's put it from the back. Back is all just this creamy yellowy colour with just that belt. I can already see it's going to be a bit of a pain to iron or well I'll, I'll steam it. I'll steam it but it's, it's going to, I generally, it's another thing I've always done and it's because I'm lazy is I avoid clothes that need ironing. So everything needs to be able to be thrown in the wash and then just like hung, hung, dried, whatever. I'm ready to wear but I am trying to make more effort in my appearance lately and that means looking after my having clothes that need more we're looking after so with Suzanne they use lots of nice natural materials all their knits are nice wool which means you cannot dry you cannot wash it in the washing machine you do need to hand wash it and you have to be careful how you dry it and you can't hang it because it'll go out of shape so I'm getting used to looking after clothes a bit better now um, so yeah, that is the uh, Amour dress. I was thinking of like, thinking of it for holidays. I've got a couple of holidays coming up in the south of France. Well, not both in the south of France. One in the south of France and one in, I'm going to La Rochelle, which is not quite the south of France. So where is it west? North, east, maybe it's east. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to La Rochelle later this month. I've got four nights in La Rochelle and then I'm going to go on the train to go and stay with my mum and her partner for another four nights. So I thought that I could wear this around La Rochelle maybe. And then uh, when I go to the south of France in June as well, uh, be nice with some heels. So that is the Amour dress. Okay, what do we think of this? So, I actually love how it looks. I really do. And I'm okay with this length. This is really short for me, but I do think it looks nice, at least from the front. I've told you before in videos, my legs are on the back. Uh, it's just the thighs, but just the, I don't think it's too bad. I don't think you see too much. <laughs> but I'm not mega confident about my thighs once you get to sort of like here. Um, so there are a couple of issues with this dress, unfortunately. I mean, these sleeves absolutely drown, drown my arm. Um, I have tried, tried it rolled up, which I'll show you in just a second. But the biggest problem is it's just the fit isn't quite right. So this fits me perfectly here really good but this top half is is actually really baggy and very easily will slip not so much around the front it's not it's, it's not like it's a, a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen but it's just a bit loose and baggy around the top which looks okay from the front but from the back there is actually a lot of loose material and I just don't think it looks that good from the back with this excess of material. If this fitted properly at the top, I think I'd love it. And it's completely not something I would normally think of for me. Um, I mean, some people might think it's a bit, I don't know, is it a little bit ethnic? 
So I've pulled the elastic up to the crook of my elbow and just shortened the sleeves. I don't know if that's better or worse or what, I'm not sure. So yeah, there's just, uh, I think the main issue is the excess fabric around the back and just how loose it is up top. I mean, you could just see it's a, a whole size too big up top at least. And then the sleeves, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about those. Um, but I'm so glad I tried it because I've been obsessing over it for ages and I actually really love that I'm wearing something shorter and feeling confident in it. It's been years since I've worn short stuff. I used to go out when I was younger in short dresses and skirts all the time. And now I've been thinking for the last probably nearly 10 years, I'm too old for that now. And here I am at 45. I'm rediscovering that, you know what? I can do it if I want and who cares what anyone thinks. So, but yeah, let me know what you think of this one. Um, I, I, I think um, Katie Louise, when she tried it, had a similar issue, a bit too much fabric around the back. She also didn't like this background color for her. I don't mind the background color. I think that's fine for me, but um, it's just the fact that there's too much fabric on top. And then we've got a, a longer version. <laughs> And this is, I think it's called the Belladonna. So same pattern. Wow, it's quite a lot of material here. Um, same pattern, it's you've got the long sleeves again. Let's have a look at the, there's the cuffs. Um, as you can see, you can sort of like unbutton it as much or as little as you want. Buttons go all the way down so this is a really long dress and then as you get to the bottom you've got this uh what color is this pinky or it's somewhere between pink and orange so the slightly muted tone between pink and orange at the bottom there another there's a whole lot of ironing that needs to be done here <laughs> so i think this is a, another cotton cotton linen mix i think it's 55 percent linen 45 percent cotton so yeah, I don't know. Um, it's not it's not as nice in person as it uh, as it looked online, I think. But that might just be because it's a bit wrinkled. Okay, so here is the Belladonna dress. It's supposed to come with a removable belt. I just went to the Suzanne app to see because this is not how I remember it. And I wanted to see how the model was styled. And I saw this fabric belt in this color on the model and it says uh, it does come with a removable belt. This one did not. I've just checked the box, definitely not there. So I belted it in with this Art Artemis um, one. Uh, it's probably not perfect. Uh, without the belt so here let me just try and show you from behind it's not it's just not it's not brilliant and um, without the belt it's really not good um, let's see without the belt it's sort of a little smock like because uh, there's nothing cinching it in. There is stitching around here, which brings it in a little bit, but from behind, it's really bad. Um, it's just kind of like, not great. Uh, yeah, I think you can tell I'm not loving this. Also, it's far too long. I just tried to walk up the stairs and tripped on it, not properly tripped, but I trod on it and nearly tripped. And that's in these wedgie shoes. So yeah, and also, I'm not massively keen, this neckline's a bit too, even though I've undone it, uh, the neckline is is too up, it's too, even though I'm trying to like loosen it up, it's just too, I guess too, um, what's the word? You know when you starch something, it's too stiff. So it's too stiff and I can't really get it to, to loosen up and open up around here. So yeah, it's not a good, not a good dress for me at all. Plus look at the ironing, that's gonna need to be done. So I'm, I love the design, I love these roses, the, the colours and everything is great, but this dress is not for me. <laughs> and last and not least, something I've wanted that's been out of stock in my size for months actually, 
and I even tried to get it. I actually went to the Suzanne store quite a few months ago and they didn't have my size there either, but I got to see it in person for the first time and I really love it. So it's in here and it is, it's the uh, Artemis belt and this is em embossed denim is the colour and I've got it in the largest possible size which is a hundred I don't know what that must be centimeters <laughs> um so I don't have a hundred inch waist so yeah it's got to be centimeters um so it's a leather belt in this darkish blue that's almost like a snake skin uh very very like fine texture they, I already have the Artemis belt in the, I think, I'm not sure what the colour is officially, but it's a pale beigey colour. And I just, there's something about this belt buckle that I absolutely adore. I just feel like it's a really nice statement. And I thought a blue belt, because I've got black belt, I've got sort of beige belts. And I thought a blue belt, I have so much blue clothes that I just can't go wrong with a blue belt. So pretty sure I'll be keeping that. I can't see why I wouldn't, but we will um, still try it on, of course. So I'll show you how it looks on. And here's the Artemis belt. I thought I'd go with a blue tonal look. So yeah, I love this belt so much. I've taken the tag off. It's a definite keeper. And yeah, I really love it with sort of like tying in the darker blue with these shoes. The shoes are from Fairfax and Favour. I adore them. They're driving shoes. They've got little um, uh, bumps on them. <laughs> They're just sort of very cute. Love this. Love this belt. I love this look. This shirt was secondhand from eBay, the brand is called Charlie without an E at the end and I absolutely adore this shirt. Got it really, really good price, so like seven or eight pounds or something. And yeah, I really love it. So, and these are the rib cage Levi jeans. I just got them yesterday. Don't think they do me too many favors around here, but uh, I'm keeping them anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's the belt, I love it. See when it looks a little dark. So we can get better light. It's not as dark as it looks, if that makes sense. That's it then. That's my haul from Suzanne. I'm keeping the Roxanne dress, so the very first long dress. I'm sending back the two dresses that have the same print. I'm sending back the scarf. I'm not going to open that up simply because I'm sending it back. I only bought that as a backup to have that fabric in my life. And now that I know that I'm keeping the Roxanne dress, I don't need the scarf. Yeah, that's three things to go back and keep in the belt for sure. So really happy with that order. Stay tuned. If you want more from Suzanne, let me know. I'm probably not going to order for a little while now because I did some damage there. They're not the cheapest. That dress though, Roxanne dress, I didn't want to take it off. But now that tells you something. I just wanted to walk around all day, wafting around in that beautiful flowy dress with that amazing print. It just made me happy, it brought me to life. So really, really love that dress. And that was a surprise because I had a feeling it was gonna to be too much, too much fabric, a bit frumpy or a bit old fashioned. And I don't think it is. Let me know what you think anyway, but that's my decisions made. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.